Hey, I'm Cher. Welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back and joining me again tonight. Thank you. Welcome new subscribers. Nice to have you here. Hope to see you Saturday night on the Saturday night chats. Come out and say hello to all your new friends. We've done, I've done all 12 signs. I'm on the last sign, Pisces. They're all coming together. They're all coming towards you at once. This is not a Pisces reading, no. This is for the cross watcher. If you're dealing with a Pisces, how does your Pisces feel? What is your Pisces feeling? What are they, what are they, are they coming back? Are they thinking about you? Have they moved on? Let's find out what your Pisces is thinking about you, Cross Watcher. Let's get her on. Let's get her done, Pisces. How does your Pisces feel? Your Pisces in decision about what? About a soulmate connection, whether or not to come forward to try to mend things and start again because you are fantastic lover and um, it ended it ended emotionally wow alrighty that's a lot of cards so your Pisces is thinking about you they're thinking you know what cross watcher is my soulmate I want to start again I want to bring them an offer I want the sun to come in and heal this relationship. I miss them. It ended. And it ended with a lot of emotion. But with the death card also comes. Also comes. Renewal. So far we have a Gemini. We have. We have uh, Aries, we have a Gemini. Gemini's big here. So you may be a Gemini, you may be an Aries, you may be a Scorpio, or you may be another Pisces. Wow, your Pisces wants to come home. They want to start again, there's no doubt about it, with the Ace of Cups. With the renewal from the Death card is wanting to start again with a whole brand new love, wanting to bring some justice in. Wanting to bring in that some good karma. Good, good, good karma. Another ace popping out here. Damn. Another ace magnified with the sun card. This is a Pisces who's really, really, really looking forward to returning to their person. Now, this is a Pisces who thinks that you're very, very beautiful or you're very, very handsome. They're thinking, well, you really do take good care of yourself and take care of your garden. They like the way you think. They like your spirit. They practically like everything about you, but there's something here about equal give and take, and someone, this Pisces might not have been, uh, this Pisces might have been a little, a little picante. They might have been a little hard to deal with. They might have been a might have been a little bit well this is what Pisces is thinking. This Pisces is kind of thinking that there was no equal give and take because somebody might have been a little hard to get along with. Somebody might have been a bit of a player. Somebody might have been not quite truthful to them. They believe, this Pisces believes, Cross Watcher, that there's a chance that you, you might have been keeping your eyes open for another ship to come in. And again, with the fire, the fire, the passion, and the possibility of not being totally honest in the relationship. 
So Pisces giving a lot of thought about coming and talking. There's a lot of thought going on here with this Pisces. This Pisces thinking a lot and they're actually thinking, you know, I wish some communication would come in. I wish I could hear from you or hear from, uh, hear something. Should I text or should they text or what should we do here? It's kind of at a standstill. But it's also a Pisces who is feeling a little bit torn. Now, if I stay, I'm going to have to find some healing. Get myself healed from this situation. But if I go, I might feel a lot better. And I might do better for myself. This is also a Pisces who feels. Now, don't shoot the messenger, all right? This is also a Pisces who's feeling um, that the cross watcher might need a little bit of healing. That the cross watcher, since they've been gone, has been doing pretty good. The cross watcher's feeling that you, the cross watcher, is probably still living it up or still looking pretty good still enjoying life and they don't really see what's really happening on the inside they only see what's happening on the outside so it's obvious that this Pisces is spying they only see what's on the outside and what they see on the outside is well you're looking pretty freaking good cross watcher you're looking pretty good. You seem to be tickety-boo, but they don't see what's happening on the inside with the double aces. You know, you guys are going to get back together again. You're going to get back together again, but I think you're kind of kind of mixed match. There's something that's not matching up in this relationship. Now, i got wanting to start again, wanting to bring in a whole brand new beginning, wanting to be truthful. Let's start off by being truthful. And let's just bring it all out into the open. And then after we discuss it, then maybe we can start again. But this is a Pisces who feels that maybe the cross watcher is fighting against working on this. They feel that this cross watcher it's either always in a bad mood or always trying to fight with them. And that they really don't. That they really don't want to work on the relationship. Now there's something that's not being seen here. And it's being very held close, very closely to the chest of what's not being seen. Now as we all know that sometimes being the Pisces, we can get quite emotional, and if we not quite seeing things for what they are, we can sort of tell ourselves in our mind that this is what's going on, I know something's going on, and we do hold on to it very, very tightly, because I'm a Pisces, and I'm into, I have my intuition, and I know, I know, I know, I know, that when I'm right, I'm right. But you know what? Sometimes feeling when you're right, you're right, you're wrong. And the tower comes in. And the tower comes in, why? Because we're not quite seeing things the way they're meant to be seen. And the Pisces will get up in their mind and they'll start, uh, their emotions get going and their mind gets working. And we can make up some stories that are not factually based we're just kind of going on what we think might be emotion, but it's probably not emotion. It's probably just, um, well, what they think is intuition, but it's probably not intuition. It's probably just running on emotion. And then there's the tower and the leaving. And I don't think this is the first time I think this might have happened a couple of times, but 
deep inside, this Pisces is feeling that you are their Nine of Cups. You are the one, but what causes all this to just backfire? What is it that causes this to backfire? And then wanting to come back and apologize again because you know that this is the one and knowing that this is the one, it kind of puts yourself all up in, in circumstances that just might not be factual. This is not all Pisces, but this is geared to some Pisces that are thinking about their crosswatcher. And why does it backfire? Why? Why does it end up in argument? Why does it end up in grief and in crying and in the leaving and the coming back? Why, 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 why indeed? Why indeed? Not seeing things for what they truly, truly are. Now that could be on your side that could be Crosswatcher, your side, or it could be what Pisces is not quite seeing. But yet, holding onto it very, very tightly. Not quite seeing the shadows and because of the shadows and because of the veils and the curtains are all in the way, the laundry's hanging outside. You gotta move the laundry to one side and take a damn good look over the hill if that makes any sense to you. It does to me, but hey. <laughs> but this says a lot. And this says volumes. So this is a Pisces goes into the tower and possibly leaves or somebody leaves the Pisces because they think, because Pisces thinks, instead of using the intuition, using the thought, using the emotion, and the emotion gets in the way, but still holding on very tight to it, instead of letting it go and saying, listen, there's no, there's no proof that any of this is happening but I can't help feeling what I feel and hanging on to it very, very tightly. And this could be what's causing this constant in and out and in and out. There is a great possibility that you could be a Pisces. You cross watcher who's watching to find out what your Pisces person is up to you could possibly be a Pisces also. You could also possibly have thought marriage with this person. You could have thought, well, you could have been married to them. Or you could just have been married. We got a judgment call coming in. That judgment call is Pisces making a move. Coming back again. Pisces coming back again. And again with the herd, herd, herd. Look at the red. Look at the passion and look at the emotions here. The emotions. Again, becoming fiery and upset. This is a Pisces who's getting upset a lot. This is a Pisces whose imagination or emotions running away with them. Don't kill the reader. Don't shoot the messenger. And again, what I have is ending. Again and again and again. This has got to be some kind of karmic thing. If you're 
dealing with a Pisces, there is love. There is the lovers. There is probably accusations of running around other people. There is probably a, a lot of emotion and tensions. This is a Pisces that wants to come forward, wants to profess her love, wants her cup to be filled. And this is a Pisces who has a hard time healing, wants to bring forth some, some word, wants the truth to come out, wants to start again. But then it ends up with this argument again, and then the argument, and then it's like, I knew it not quite seeing things for the way they were. I knew it, I knew it, and they're gone again, and now I'm back in the tower, and I'm walking away from them, and Pisces is thinking I'm walking away from them, I'm never going to talk to them again, and then coming back with a so-called apology, but the apology is fiery. It is meant to be a constant cycle of coming in and leaving until one of these cycles, it'll either end for good or it'll be breaking a karmic cycle and realizing exactly what's going on. And then the two of you slowly starting to work it out. But prepare cross watcher because I do see Pisces coming back here. I do see Pisces wanting to work on it, but there's just something. And I gotta say it's Pisces emotional state or their emotions or their just or their way of thinking that maybe sometimes we use an intuition and they're not. Or maybe it is their intuition, but you're just so damn addicting they can't stay away from you. <laughs> Whatever it is, I don't know. <sighs> Pisces. Crosswatcher, thank you for watching me today. We'll see you next time. Namaste.